Let's install the Ghoulie Kit Hall Effect Sensing Joysticks for the Nintendo Switch into our Joy-Cons. The install is fairly straightforward and should really only take a few minutes per Joy-Con. The benefit of these sticks is that they should not have any stick drift because they use magnets instead of potentiometers to detect the movement of the joysticks. You'll only need three tools to complete this project. A tri-wing double zero bit screwdriver, a Phillips double zero bit screwdriver, as well as some sort of pry tool, whether it be your fingernail, a guitar pick, or a sputter tool. This process isn't too difficult, but you need to be careful with the ripping cables on the inside of the controller. If you damage them, then you'll need to repair the damage or replace the parts that the cables are attached to. The layout of the two Joy-Cons is slightly different, so we'll be starting with the right Joy-Con for this video. Let's start by grabbing our Tri-Wing Double Zero screwdriver and take out the four screws on the back of the controller. Next, we'll use a small pry tool to take the back cover of the Joy-Con off. I personally just use my fingernail, but any sort of spudger should work. Once you have the back pried free, you need to carefully open the Joy-Con like a book. Here we can see the exposed battery and the inside pieces of the Joy-Con, but we can also see the rubbing cables that connect the front and the back half of the controller. We now need to disconnect the battery while we're working on the Joy-Con. All we have to do is simply pull up on the connector and it should release from the PCB. The battery itself is held in with a small piece of adhesive. Using a small plastic pry tool, pry the battery out of the Joy-Con. Just make sure not to accidentally pierce or damage the battery in any way as this can start lithium fires. Next up, there's three Golden Phillips double zero screws that need to be removed from the controller. This should allow the middle frame piece of the Joy-Con to be removed. However, be careful once again because there's yet another ribbon cable attached to this piece. Before you can remove the ribbon cable, you need to remove this gold antenna connector near the bottom. From there, you can flip it over and get access to the ribbon cable. We simply need to lift up on the black tab of the connector to release the ribbon cable. We can then set the middle frame piece off to the side. We need to remove two more golden Phillips double zero screws and unlatch the connector to free the joystick from the controller. From here, we can just swap in our new Ghoulie Kit sticks back into the Joy-Con. We then need to repeat all the steps in reverse to reassemble our controller. Make sure to be extra careful with the ribbon cables and do not force them into the connectors. They should easily slide in. If they aren't, make sure the connector is fully open before you try and insert the ribbon cables. Now that we have one Joy-Con done, let's move on to the other one. The process is fairly similar, starting off with four tri-wing double zero screws on the back of the controller. Once they are removed, we can pry open the controller and open it like a book as well. Just like the other controller, we need to disconnect the battery first before prying it out. There are then three golden double zero Phillips head screws that need to be removed. When they're removed, you can flip over the middle bracket and disconnect the ribbon cable. Finally, we have one more ribbon cable blocking one of our screws. We can disconnect that. Now, we can repeat the same steps as we did for the other controller. Disconnect the ribbon cable that's connected to the joystick and remove the two golden screws. From here, we can swap in our new stick and repeat the process in reverse to put it back together.
The Ghoulie Kit sticks come with replaceable caps that you can change whenever you want. All you have to do is simply grab onto the cap of the joystick and pinch upwards until the cap comes off. From here, you'll have a small rubber dome that we put back onto the stick, and we can then press the new cap onto the stick. And that's all there really is to it. From there, you have a working set of Ghoulie Kit sticks that should have no more stick drift to them. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe and join our Discord down in the description.